Like a lot of other people out there, I don't carry a lightweight polymer wonder gun. I actually carry something that's made of all steel and it's a little bit heavy. And because of that, a lot of people are always asking me, well, what kind of holsters do you use? You get asked a lot of holster questions no matter what you carry if you're a gun channel because let's face it, if you're going to carry a gun, holster is a big part of that. Well, the other day I got a question from a Samuel26 at gmail.com about a very specific holster for this specific gun, the one I carry, and he wondered if I had ever tried a paddle holster for the Smith & Wesson 586L Comp. Now, I'm not the biggest paddle holster fan, at least I wasn't in the past, because I tried them when I was uh, uh, early on in my carrying a gun as a civilian, and I didn't really like them very well. I didn't think they were very stable. But then later, as I had a lot more experience carrying, I started realizing that a good belt is a big part of the equation, not just the holster. So after I got uh, different belts, I started giving hol uh, paddle holsters another try. Now, the first paddle holsters I tried were these polymer paddle holsters. These are from Blackhawk, and these are great holsters. Uh, I found them to be very comfortable, very easy to draw from. I love the retention factor. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, I'm gonna shoot my gun if I try to use these. If you know how to draw, you're not gonna. So, had no problem with these, thought they were great. Now, they don't conceal super easily because they do stick off your body a little bit more than a traditional pancake holster. But, if you're wanting something that's just easy to take on and off, it's very convenient, holds the gun very securely, and uh, concealment's not your primary concern, these are amazing, I've really liked them. Uh, I wish I could find one of these for my Smith & Wesson 586L Comp, but I haven't been able to. But I did find one holster, and it was kind of funny because when Samuel26 sent me his email, he asked me about a very specific holster, and it just happened I was having that holster arrive the next day from Amazon, and that holster is this here. It's a Galco leather paddle holster. So let's get it open here and take a look at it. Now this holster is very nicely made. Looking at this, you'd think this is something I'm definitely going to like because it's a paddle holster, but it's a nice old-fashioned leather holster, which I really love a leather holster. So you'd think I was going to love this holster, but I hated it. Uh, to answer Samuel 26's question, do I think this particular holster is a good holster? No, I don't. I just didn't like it at all. I didn't think it held the gun firmly. I don't think it was very stable. I just didn't enjoy it. I tried this thing for like three days in a row and just didn't like it. It wasn't worth it for being able to take it on and off easily. It just wasn't worth that you know, that issue of it not feeling very stable. And no matter how tight I put my belt, it just didn't feel great. And I had to put my belt so tight that it wasn't comfortable. And there's one reason I think that's true. And I'll show you this here. If you look at the back here, it's held with two screws here. Uh, the other holsters are held with different setups here. They don't just have the two screws. If you look here, they have three screws and they're screwed at the top and closer to the middle of the holster. And I think that makes it much more stable as far as the holster part being connected to the paddle part. But that's not the problem that I think is really making the other one unstable. It's part of the problem, but there's another part I think also makes the other holster bad while I think this holster is good. Look at the width of the paddles on these two. This is very wide. It gives you a very stable footprint. It goes down fairly deeply, like six inches. This one only goes down about four inches. Now, I'm usually okay with going four inches on something, but in this case, it just doesn't work as well. Normally, I'd say four can do the same job as six, but not in this case. And also, the width. It's about half the width of the paddle on this one. And because of that, it just doesn't work very well. So to answer the question about what I think of paddle holsters, after trying these paddle holsters, I'm sold on them. I really like these. But as far as the leather Galco holster for the Smith & Wesson 586, it's just not up to snuff. I can't recommend this holster. So now all I gotta do is try to find a holster more like this for my carry gun.